In 1939, the clouds of war gathered over Europe. In the coming years, the United States would be drawn into a bloody conflict that would eventually span the globe. Few corners of the world were spared, not even the quiet hills of central Texas. As America sent her sons and daughters across the seas to fight, and potentially give the ultimate sacrifice, many at home sacrificed as well, and in some cases, lost everything. Fort Hood is one of the largest military bases in the world. It was named after John Bell Hood, a Civil War general, who was known for his bravery and aggressiveness. Its original purpose was to train army units to counter one of the main instruments of the Nazi war machine, the German Panzer. The Panzer was a critical component of the German Blitzkrieg strategy, and the rolling hills and climate of Central Texas were ideal for training tank destroyer units. The reservation today spans about 200,000 acres of land in Central Texas. It has a population of about 71,000, consisting of per military personnel and their families. It is surrounded by the communities of Gatesville, Copperas Cove, Colleen, and Harker Heights. Even in the face of worldwide economic hardships, the communities surrounding Fort Hood continue to prosper. This is due in part to the economic stability brought by the military community. Although the soldiers work and train on Fort Hood, many live in the surrounding communities with their families. But prior to 1942, the surrounding communities looked much different. Copperas Cove, for example, had about 350 residents. Before the post was established, there were many other communities in the area, such as Clear Creek, Sugarloaf, Elijah, Antelope, and many others. Countless farms and family homesteads dotted the countryside. When the war began, the young men and women of these communities were called upon to fight for their country. But as the war progressed, the country required more. It demanded their land. 